Gary and Lee Korn's wedding. They are both dead. Roy on the far right. He's died too. John next to him. He is still alive. And today he arrived at the infected blood inquiry this week in Leeds to tell his family's story. I've, it's affected this, not just me, because I've got problems, or one of my brothers who's got the same, uh, same problem as me. Uh, uh, I've got another brother who hasn't got hemophilia, and a sister who hasn't got hemophilia. I've got loads of nephews and nieces from the brothers that have died, and, uh, and I've got uh, nephews that haven't got a mother or a father. Uh, so it's affected at least 30 of the family. Gordon Corns on the left, he died of AIDS in December 1995. And Gary, seen here with his mother Audrey, he died in 1992. His wife Lee, infected by her husband, also later died from AIDS. It was from contaminated products, factor eight, used to help the blood clot. John Corns and another brother, who has also died, were infected with hepatitis C. I can remember Gary saying he's got to go to the hospital for some tests, to, to talking about HIV. Uh, none of us knew at the time what HIV was. Or um, we, we kept thinking it was so, some sort of cancer, uh, which they'd be able to cure. Um, and I can remember the, the day came and we went, we, all of us went over to the house and he was sobbing his heart out and... Uh, uh, he, he actually said he, um, he thinks he's, he looks as if they're going to die. And there was Roy, who was at the centre of worldwide media attention after he was accused of deliberately infecting women with HIV, one of whom later died from AIDS. John Corns told me this had a terrible impact on the family. It was a shock to We didn't know anything about it until it actually happened, until she actually died. We didn't know. What, and... Uh, there was no warnings or anything. Roy didn't realise. He didn't realise at all. He was, he was just a kid. We did not uh, know to what extent HIV and AIDS were at the, at the time. And, that, and that's one of the reasons I'm here now, because I'm defending my family. Seven and a half thousand people are thought to have been infected. 4,800 were haemophiliacs. There were others too from transfusions or during childbirth or from their partners. This inquiry is to find out how it happened and who knew the blood was infected. The chair of this inquiry, Sir Brian Langstaff, has made a very specific point about the way this room is laid out with the people giving evidence at its very centre because he said these are the people who need to be, who must be heard. He also made another point today, that speed is of the essence, because people have died even since this inquiry started. John Corn's hepatitis C has cleared, but it has left him with cirrhosis of the liver, and he was recently taken to hospital after vomiting blood. When I was told I had hep C, I thought at the time, well, it's not like it. HIV or AIDS, it's not going to kill us, uh, and it is killing us. Uh, I've been cleared of the hep C, it's just the uh, cirrhosis which is, uh, my liver's getting worse and worse, so, uh, so I've got to try and enjoy and play people up as much as I can, that's what I want to do.